So we want to be like that lighthouse, sending out a light. And it's not just to make it easier for things to see, but it's to, to point out where people should be going. Right? Because there's only one way they should be going. And Jesus Christ is that one way. The only way. And this, of course, is what offends so many people, is the very simple fact that Jesus said, and you can't ignore this, John 14 and 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody, no man, comes to the Father but through me. You know, you, you can be very sincere and very religious, and you can go tramping around the world and looking for it to, you know, to meet up with Confucius under a tree, or find the Buddha sitting up on a mountain or any other number of alternatives. But the simple fact of the matter is the only one who will lead you to God the Father is Jesus Christ. That is the Father's plan. Now, is that harsh? My goodness gracious, no. I mean, he wanted, he wanted us to notice Jesus was publicly displayed when he was crucified. Hung on that cross, talk about being lifted up, hung on that cross and pray, Father, forgive them. There's no excuse. There's, there's no excuse for rejecting Jesus Christ. You can't get to the Father on that day of judgment and say, well, you don't understand. Well, you, he does. He, understands. he knows everything. And there's no more that he could have done. There's nothing, by the way, there's no more he could have done to open that door to the way to him. And there's nothing at all that you can do other than to receive that. I mean, you could go to church every single day, church building every single day. You could fast and pray every single day. You could offer bulls and calves and sheep. and You could do all those things. But the simple fact of the matter is that salvation, does it sound works. harsh? It's not by works. It is the free gift of God that no man might boast. It's a gift. You can't have it any easier than that. It's a very simple way. So that lighthouse that we are, that's what we should be pointing the way to. We should be pointing men towards Jesus Christ. And if we hide that light in these days, shame on us. Shame on us. All right? So Jesus is saying this is a daily thing. And it's not just a matter of going out and preaching. Now, we're not all called to preach. And I'll tell you one of the dangers that I see today with Facebook and all the social media, uh, uh, all of a sudden everybody thinks they're teachers. But the Word of God says, let not many of you become teachers. For by this you incur a stricter judgment. Now, certainly you should be sharing the word. Certainly you should be proclaiming the excellencies of him, Jesus, who has called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Certainly, as long as it's still called today, you should be sharing words of encouragement. But the simple fact of the matter is not everybody's called to be a teacher. Okay? But we need to be out there and we need to be pointing people towards that way of salvation, pointing them towards Jesus Christ. So you don't have to be standing behind a pulpit. You don't have to have a television show or a radio show. You have to be living your life walking according to the Spirit. Doing all things as unto the Lord. We need, we need to know that when we were born, we were born with a stain. A stain, stain of sin. sin. And there's nothing that we can do to get rid of that. No. Nothing. Except receive the blood of Jesus. That's the glory of this. That's the glory of the gospel. Is that there's nothing that we can do, and there's nothing we have to do, because Jesus has done it all. He hung on that cross and said, "It is finished." All we have to do is receive that free gift. There's no other God can offer that. No, and I'll tell you what: no other God does offer that. I mean, every other God is like, "You got to do this. You got to do this. You got to work to achieve it. You got to." You gotta buy it. No, no, no. It is the free gift of God of sending ranch in Once you met the Set your spirit free.